Hey Slayers, I'm just gonna immediately start this out with an angry tone. So this is Batman Forever for the Game Gear, and this is a terrible game, and it's worse than the Genesis version, and I'm just gonna get them straight start this game, right? You're greedy with this beautiful difficulty selection screen. Well, that doesn't even matter, because the game sucks. You get to pick your items, but I didn't care the first time. The game just sucks. Please don't play this game, like honestly. Don't touch this game. This game is a game. Like, I'm so sick of these trash games turning such a good series as Batman and dragging their name through the mud with this crap because that's what this is crap let me explain to you so this first level right so i got into the game and already it looks terrible the game looks like a pile of garbage it doesn't look good like pre-rendered graphics don't work on 8-bit consoles and i'll never understand when companies are going to realize this you can't do pre-rendered graphics on 8-bit consoles nintendo didn't get it sega doesn't get it and now the company who makes this game didn't get it either even mortal kombat didn't get it but they did it at least midway i will give credit to i'll give credit to where credit is due midway and tech toy actually did a good job getting mortal kombat to run on game gear and master system but this this is just crap the graphics are hor horrible and the worst part is i can't even give this game a full review yes i cannot review this game as much as i would love to review this game for you guys i can't review this game and you know why i can't review this game because i can't get past this first section and you may be thinking well i'm just stupid i'm not doing the right thing you literally have to get in this corner and just crouch down and then you press some type of weird combination of buttons and you immediately you fly up to the top i seen it i had to it got so bad to where i couldn't figure out what to do and i came over and i punched those plants right and so i thought that did something so i went back to check Kador, right that does look like a door i don't know about you but i see a door no it's not a door and it's just nothing literally i can't give this game a review because i didn't get past i mean i can give it a mini review if you want basically the combat sucks the graphics sucks the music sucks the gameplay sucks don't play this game certainly don't buy this game i'm not even telling prices if you're looking for prices you're not gonna get that here i'm not even telling you prices because this game sucks that bad this game is utter trash literally to the point it, it, the, if this is if oh my god this game makes literally dr jekyll and mr hyde look like freaking this game that game makes this game makes dr jekyll and mr hyde look like literally uh looks like doom eternal at this point like honestly I just, I, I never seen something so atrociously bad that I couldn't even get past the first section of the game. And we're not talking the first level. No, I couldn't get past this first section. And it got to the point, I looked it up two times, two times in this one video. You'll see me pause the video and go look it up two times. Two, not one, but two times. I couldn't do anything. This game is, please, I'm begging you. Uh, if there's anything, this is worse than Marvel Zone. That I have no, con I have no fear saying this is worse than Marvel Zone. This game is worse than Marvel Zone. Please don't go play this game. Don't ever touch this game. Don't ever buy this game. Don't rom this game. This game is so bad. Why would you even want to pirate this? Don't even pirate this game. That's how terrible this game is. Like, honestly, please let this game be forgotten in the past as a failed attempt at a Batman game on an 8 bit Game Gear console. Let this game not even be brought up in the future. It's done. Just let it die a slow and painful. And I really mean painful. And I really hope it's painful. A slow, very slow painful death into obscurity because this is not worth anybody's time it's not a hidden gem it's not it's not one of those games look i review when i review games i'm always hoping to look for a hidden gem you know what i'm saying i try to do uh, I, I always do pretty well known games but if i do like rare games like this and maybe even i don't know what other rare games i did but i always try to if i do a game and it's not that well known especially these game gear titles i really hope have high hopes for them i really want them to be hidden gems and trust me i don't want to say this game is trash i don't wish this game was trash i wish this game was the best game in the world and no one knew about it and i could just let you go and you could just i could just tell you go play it and go play it now but don't do that this game is not good this game isn't worth any part of time and as you can see i paused the game and i tried to trick that i saw on the youtube video i paused the video and i came back and there was a little cut and you saw that i paused it to see well now that i did that can will i be able to see um will i be able to see uh how to get up there nope the trick that i saw on the youtube video didn't work 
and I tried it in multiple different places. I tried it in multiple different things. The guy in the YouTube video literally just crouched down. He just crouched down and flew to the top. And there was no commentary in the video. There was no commentary in the videos I could find anywhere. So I pause again here. I pause again here to go look it up again. I reset, right? And then I pause again. Or I don't. Do I pause again? Yeah, I think I pause again. So I'll pause again at some point to go back and look again. So I reset here because I thought, well, in another video I saw a guy pick items, different items. So I was like, well, maybe that's my problem. Maybe the game isn't that bad and I just chose the wrong items. And one dude chose a grappling hook. There was no grappling hook here. Where was the grappling hook? Because I sure couldn't freaking find it. The game, uh, there, it, there's no sense of direction. How am I supposed to know what to do to get up to the top? They don't tell you. They give you a selection of weapons that I didn't use. I couldn't even figure out how to use. Oh, did I mention there's no pause? Well, let me phrase that. There is a pause button. I just don't know how to access it. I made it happen one time by accident. This, and you'll see that in the recording later on. I ended up pausing the game by accident. But start doesn't pause the game. Start actually blocks. Yes, start actually blocks for you. This game, the content is not like you'll want to block anyway. There's no need to block. The content is just too bad. It's not even worth anybody's time. I didn't, I was going to, I'm ending up voicing this over just because I didn't have time when I actually recorded this. I was so frustrated that I couldn't even get, I couldn't even get my words out recording it with sound. So I have to come back and voice it over later just because I was so angry at how this video turned out and how I can't technically give this game a proper, proper review. Zero out of zero. I'm a zero out of whatever. Zero, 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 zero. If I could give it less than zero, I would give it less than zero. This isn't a game. This isn't a game worth your time. This isn't a game worth anybody's time. If you even, to the point, if you ever see this game in the wild and it's cheap, I don't even care if it's free. First off, the person who's selling it, slap them in the face, throw a rock through their window, and take the tires from their car because this game isn't worth anybody's time and if you're actually selling this you're a terrible human being i'm sorry to say but if you're out there selling this game on ebay or anything don't don't even waste your time you're a terrible human being take this game off for even trying to to seduce somebody to this other poison this is poison i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get radiation poison just from being near this game don't buy this game it's actually so terrible look at the graphics okay the graphics alone aren't worth anybody's time they're terrible okay they're all washed out and ugly and, and i'm pretty and from what i know they look worse on a real game gear screen so don't buy this game don't play this game listen as far as i'm concerned Batman Forever, steer clear of it fully in the retro world. Because yes, this game does have Nintendo ports. Both an in both um both uh, uh SNES and a Game Boy port. And there might even be an NES because I think there's a Master System port of this. But here's the thing. From what I can tell, the Game Gear port of this game, I meant the Game Boy port of this game is literally the same game. But that's really gonna do it for this video. Stay away from this game. If you're new here, please subscribe. I would appreciate it a lot. And until next time, see you, Slayers.